Okay. Oh, mud. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Woo. Trucks. Trucks. Bike blogger here. Topic of the day. Let's do it. Advantages of bicycle commuting. Let's freestyle for a minute here. Just start brainstorming. What are some of the advantages of bicycle commuting? Fresh air, exercise, uh, not having to deal with parking, traffic jams, a lot of that jazz. Shom, ah. shom. Let's make a left here. Freedom, freedom. That's a big one. Feel the feeling of independence. Self-reliance, you're in control, it's a lot of that. Actually, there ain't that much traffic right now. Sort of surprised. Oh, sore cover. So yeah, what else? Advantages of bicycle commuting, pros and cons? Nah, just pros today. I got a whole list of stuff here going downhill. It's much more affordable than owning a car or dealing with a car. I mean, in, uh, in taxes and uh, licensing, registration fees, there's like so much, so much stuff. Go on, dude. You got this, you got this. What else we got, y'all? Feeling alive. Yeah, fresh air. Occasionally you see like wildlife and stuff. It's very, um, you're not going as fast, you know, like in a car. So just by that nature, when you're not going as fast, you're just seeing a lot more stuff. It gives you more time to take it all in. Take it all in. Um, what else? Every day is an adventure. I always say that. And riding a bike contributes greatly to that. Because if you're going to drive a car, you're probably going to take the same route every day to work. You're going to feel like a drone. It's going to get very boring. Riding a bike is not boring at all. <laughs> you're constantly having to look, look around stay attentive to everything and uh it wakes you up in the morning it's a great way to wake up in the morning uh just like exercise and everything else but it's a great way to get your mind moving but it's also a stress reliever you know because it's like an exercise i mean it can be just as hard as you want to make it to be you don't have to go super fast Woo. The weather also has a big, a, it makes a big part of it, but it is very much, uh, very pleasant most days, I'll say. Even if it's really hot or cold, if you're prepared, it's actually very pleasant most days. There are exceptions, but that's the same that goes with, you know, driving a car or a truck or something having to dig your vehicle out having to scrape on the windows to get the ice off of it you'll deal with similar things with a bicycle but generally they're simpler um, and like I was saying self-reliance learn how to work on your bike start with the simple things know how to pump up your tires um, that's like the most simple and we'll talk about that in maybe a future video, the essentials, what you really need to get started. But uh, just speaking in general about advantages of bike commuting, did I miss anything really? Not really. I don't I think that's about it. It's pretty simple, just like bike commuting. You know, what sort of a person wouldn't want to... Uh... I'm waving them on. Yeah, there you go. 
There you go, Bubba's. Okay. Okay. I go this way. Today, I don't know if I'm gonna extend the bike commute or not. Um, I guess we'll just elaborate some more on the advantages of bike commuting. So, in the United States of America, and probably a lot of uh, developed countries, a lot of people eat, um, what do you call it, prepackaged processed foods. Uh, it might be the most affordable food, unfortunately, because it's heavily subsidized by your government. Uh, of course, you should always eat healthy, fresh fruits and vegetables, but let's face it, most people don't do that. So, one, another positive is, besides exercise, is in the summertime, you're gonna sweat a lot. And uh, it varies greatly by person, but you may sweat uh, if you're out riding or out in the heat for an hour, you could sweat 1,500 milligrams of sodium. You know, that's the stuff that's in uh, all the, uh, all the nasty process stuff. So 1,500 milligrams of sodium and the daily recommended maximum value according to the what, US FDA is 2,300, I think, something like that. So even if you go above the maximum, daily maximum by 50%, you know, you're just replenishing what you lost while you're sweating. I don't tend to sweat so much in the winter if I'm properly clothed. But in the summertime, that's a great advantage. So if you know that, that's a good thing, but you gotta watch your diet in the winter time because uh, you're not sweating as much. Woo! We gotta go this way. This way, yeah, I was gonna go, oh shoot. Did I wanna go right? Did I wanna go right back there? I don't know. I don't know, we're gonna go this way. We'll go straight, just a little bit longer. Do, 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 do. But yeah, some of the biggest things, freedom, independence, self-reliance, a feeling of you being in control. You can go wherever you want. You know, every, every route you take, can be different every day. I mean, you can do the same thing in a car, but it's not the same because you're in a cage. You're, you're in a you're in a bubble, a cage, a bubble, whatever. And you're not really out there doing it, and you can't really take it all in. Let's make a right. Just go dish wire. Okay. Da 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 da. Let's go left. Oh, wait, that's one way I keep forgetting. Oh, okay. Oh, mud. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Okay. Oh, let's go through the field. You can't do this legally in a car, but a bicycle, you know, who's going to stop you? Who's going to stop you? Let's go. I think I got to go over here. Get up over by the train station ah single speed is all I need Woo. now of course another advantage is you're being better to the environment up the hill up the hill for sure and we need everything we can get now because these more temperate climates like uh, man even was it San Francisco, even these coastal cities, are getting some pretty crazy heat and smoke from burning forests, fires, and uh, you know, even up north in Canada, they're getting crazy hot temperatures. What does that mean? Well, it's nice and easy. <laughs> okay, so that was a truck on the sidewalk there, so I'm not completely in the wrong. Um, Means more people are gonna buy air conditioners. No doubt about that. Air conditioners contribute heavily to climate change, so it's kind of a, what is that? Catch 22 or whatever, I don't know. It's like, oh, well, 
I want to be nice to the climate, but the climate's being mean to me, so I'm getting an air conditioner. Uh, so yeah, you know, cars are getting more efficient, but bicycles, that's you. It's on you. That's what I was saying. You're in control. You gotta be self-reliant on yourself. If you break down, you know, learn how to change a flat. Bring the tools with you. You need to, you know, fix your chain or fix your brake cable. <laughs> uh, it's hard to say in terms of safety, you know, is cycling more safe or less safe than uh, up there? Woo! Then, um, you know, driving a car or whatever, because there's just so few people by comparison that ride bikes and they tend to be lumped into a less diverse category of people uh, in terms of those who ride their bike every day. You know, not just weekend warriors. I mean, you do have a diverse set of people who ride bikes to work, but they tend to be of you know, it's about practicality or uh, just a specific mindset, really. As those who drive cars just kind of, I don't know. There's car enthusiasts, but there's a lot of people that just drive cars because, you know, they just, it's just what everyone else does. So if you want to be like everybody else, drive a car. If you want to be you, and not like everybody else, ride a bike. Get around those traffic jams. Don't tie yourself down. I mean, I kind of would suggest that completely different in terms of the environment, but riding a bike's kind of like owning a private jet or a helicopter or something. And you just kind of snobbish about it maybe right let's be honest Whew, they're doing work around here you can go wherever whenever you want very predictable on how long it's going to take to get you there because uh you can get around construction zones and, and uh, traffic jams and uh you know you're in control I missed that light over there. And yeah, <laughs> let's go this way. I mean, you still gotta follow the rules of the road, but um, yeah, you don't have to be, I mean, that's like the ultimate horrible feeling, right? Is to be stuck behind somebody else, not moving and sitting there for an hour in traffic. And I'm not sure exactly what's worse sitting in traffic with the windows down or sitting in traffic with the windows up breathing in all that those nasty uh, fumes from inside the car Brrr, let's go to the right go this way yeah let's go this way Woo. So other advantages, there may be tax advantages. You'd need to look that up. Maybe you can uh, start a program at your at your um, employer or suggest something like incentives for people to cut their greenhouse gas emissions. I mean, it's totally gonna depend on your employer probably and what sort of persuasion they are if they wanna save the planet or just don't give a crap. Uh, let's go this way. Oh boy, oh boy, boy. Not sure what happened. My camera died. Anyway, thanks for coming along with me on this bike ride to work today. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Woo.